Welcome to the video with Kekeli. Today we're going to talk about a very unique movie. It looks like a very unique brand of movie. Like a it start is, of something. It is. That it is. Kekeli, you're welcome. What can you tell us about this unique movie? Well, first of all, the trailer doesn't show you shit. You won't get a single, you won't have a single idea about what the movie's about. The, movie's, the movie is about by watching the trailer. The trailer just shows you glimpses of, you know, the body horror and everything. But that is what I was saying. looks like hell boy. The body horror, but like, when it comes to the actual movie itself, it's something way, way more bizarre and just effed up and unique. And it's just, it's... A lot of things. It's a lot of crazy things. It's a lot of crazy things. So the story is it has hmm. twists and turns, basically. Is that no, not, not straightforward? It doesn't have any like. Does it have to do with time travel? Crazy twist. No, no. It's just body horror. Should, should I even call it horror? It doesn't really have a horror vibe, apart from maybe the very bizarre things people do to their bodies, like I don't know, stitching ears all over your body and then. What? Or opening up your body for sexual pleasure, which is actually a thing in this. Um, you open up a side of yourself. The concept, the the uh, basic. Wait, the, let me see who acted it. You have to be a creepy ass actor oh, for them it's, to. It's the chick. The it's the like chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but like the thing is, she doesn't actually participate in this thing. She's in the body horror, mm -hmm. what but she she's just this weird, nerdy, strange character. <clears throat> in it, the main character is. But then these two are the main characters. The main character is Saul Tenza, Tenza, and Cap, Cap Rice or Cap Rice. Don't know what's going on with that. <coughs> what is the Mantos has given United F? 79%. And the audience score? Audience score is 6.1. To be honest, it's a movie I wouldn't mind watching again, honestly. Even though it's, <coughs> it's so strange and bizarre. So this is it, yeah? It starts with a boy mm -hmm. eating a plastic bin. Mm -hmm. Man, has evolved. He's eating a plastic bin. Why recycle when you can eat it? It evolved. And his mom um, killed him uh, because of that. Because, yeah, it's, it's she doesn't consider him to be a human being anymore. But unknown to... That's the thing. And in the future, people are... It's, it's based on the future, kind of. It's like people people's bodies are beginning to... Mankind is slowly... See, evolving or devolving? No, evolving, because, evolving has that effect. It is, you, it's like a, it's a circle. You would say evolving. Yeah. <coughs> but, but the common sense is Bizarre different. things are happening to people's bodies. Like I said, the ear motherfucker, mm -hmm. growing ears all over his body. Some he are grown. It or he attached it? They are grown. They okay. are grown. Okay. Are so grown. damn that there's a problem in the world that's causing this deformity. It's different for, it can be different for everyone. And uh, one, one interesting theory, people are developing tumors a lot in their body. Mm -hmm. The main character develops tumors a lot. He is a quote unquote stage performer. Mm -hmm. He and his uh, lady assistant. Mm -hmm. Whom they end up having some sort of intimate relationship. I mean, they are clapping cheek. Hmm. There's no clapping cheek in the future. It's all you know, casting your body and opening it up for pleasure. Wait, what is what? What, what is it? What yeah, is it, it gets to a point you actually forget how to have normal sex. No, mind. When they, when, they, when, they, when they cut your body up, the person fits to your what? Nah, just the cutting just gives pleasure. In the future, people don't have pain receptors anymore. So if I cut you, then it means. Uh, that's that. That's very like. few people can still feel pain in the future. So cutting somebody in as a matter of fact, to be them. able to even dream that you are in pain is considered a like a you miracle. do you do awesome. Like it's crazy. Okay, let me, let me get it. So they cut you and they. Just... So like best you can do is I don't know. Either you enjoy what you are seeing by cutting yourself open. Some people are lucky enough to feel pleasure as they cut themselves. So his intimate relation with his assistant, he was cutting. Yes. Well, they basically set their autopsy table on automatic, and then it just does random cuts on them. And they're just and they're just holding each other and. I don't know, just enjoying it. Let me see the writer. <laughs> Let me see the writer. <laughs> no, listen, listen. So people are evolving in different ways, mm -hmm. right? The boy, for instance, could digest plastic, which was unknown until after he died, <coughs> unfortunately for him. Mm -hmm. The stage performer, the so-called stage performer, his performance is basically, he grows a tumor in his body, right? Mm -hmm. His assistant tattoos the tumor before opening it, before opening his body up and removing it. So how does she do it? They insert some tubes into their body and then some camera and they see and they tattoo their tumor yeah. organ. And then on the stage performance, they just open him up and remove it. And as they're removing it, I don't know. That doesn't sound they like recite a movie. some kind of it uh, like wordplay or. It sounds like a very bad hentai. It doesn't sound like a movie. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> This sounds like bad hentai. It sounds like the writing that you a kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Personally, I feel like I didn't understand this movie well enough because like the way okay, so the things that people do to their bodies on the stage performance and how people interpret what they are doing is not what you would think at all. Let, let me get it straight. And is, is somebody investigating what's happening in the world or is just happening? Everybody's in it. Well, how do I put it? 
because of this whole tumor thing springing up all over the place, it's like people sometimes perform surgeries on themselves so the with no expertise whatsoever. Basically, just people opening up. Basically, themselves. the movie is basically trying to understand what's happening to the human race. Uh-huh. That's, so that's what's happening. And yeah. Who's investigating? Who's trying to do that kind of? Well, it's not like the story is actually focused around the main the, character because his main struggle is whenever he's developing, developing the tumor, uh-huh. he struggles to eat. Okay, okay, lack of appetite. Not like lack of appetite. He when he's eating, it's like the more he eats, it really hurts him. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. it wasn't until the end of the movie that he realized that he was eating the wrong thing. Yeah, that's eat why plastic. he was dying. You have to go and eat plastic. Yeah, he ate plastic. And then he realized so if he was fine. Him, if he bring him to this universe, bro, he will save lives. And one one funny, one interesting theory that was floating around was <coughs> the possibility that the growing of the tumors and the deformities and the quote unquote evolving was entirely a subconscious thing. Human beings are doing it to themselves. Like subconsciously, so your body is growing new organs, but you think it's a sickness. Also, but I, but low key, you have control. Basically, that's what it plays. It plays on that idea. But basically, like you have control over the organ you're growing, but you don't know it. But why is your body choosing to grow up? It's a loophole. Of so like, I think the organ growing an organ that can digest plastic is because you know pollution and everything. Mm. So you need to make use of what is around, and then food is actually becoming scarce. So plastic is the best alternative. Damn. So yeah, it's really bizarre. It's really bizarre. It's not bizarre. It's not. It's not a story. It actually took a while before he started developing. I don't know pleasure from the cutting. Initially, it was just a performance. That's what I'm saying. It's but not, like, the more story. he did it, the so more he, he began. He has a crowd. He's like a celeb of sorts. He has a crowd. It's like theater, theater, theater okay. act. So except this one, you're not going to act. You're going to get open. They just open. That's it. That's not like a story. It sounds like a concept. That There's one trying to make crazy scene. He went for some pageant, whatever, whatever, and they had to open him up and fix a zip on his lower abdomen. Why? And when he came back, he met his assistant and she was admiring it and she was licking the zip area with the open wound and he was getting some, it's like, to him it's like getting a blowjob. That's the kind of reaction he was giving. Yeah, very bizarre movie. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Very, very bizarre. <laughs> no, let, let, let's take away from the story because the story seems to be very conceptual. The whole synopsis, yeah, the whole synopsis they're giving you is basically as a human being species to adapt to a certain synthetic environment, the body undergoes new transformation and adaptations. Mm-hmm. Accompanying with his, uh, with his partner, celebrity, performance, artist, or tensor, mm-hmm. showcase metamorphosis of his organs, whilst um, a mysterious group ties to use Saul's notoriety to shed light to the next phase of a human resolution. So people are trying to use him to show this whole human being that People want to understand what's happening through okay, him okay. because it's so like it's a lab rat of sorts. Because as as <coughs> whenever he cuts and whenever he cuts removes a tumor, uh-huh. anyone grows. And then the more he removes, it's like the time interval of each growth is reducing gradually. Oh, so people So yeah, it's like it all added up to his struggle in being able to eat and swallow and speak properly. So people are seeing him, people are observing him to see exactly what's going on in the world. He has the most unique tumor growth. That's why they want to like understand more through him. Look yeah, what I'm hearing hearing it even sounds a little bit I feel like puking a bit, but yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to the story. Let's go on to the body works. It doesn't look real. That's every the graphics there. Oh, it the looks direction. real. It, it looks, looks real. real. It looks. Mm. It's a step in the You can tell that this is there's a lot of work in there. Maybe with the exception of the boy, the boy in the beginning was who was eating the plastic bin. He when they were opening up his dead body and they found out that someone had already been inside his body and tattooed all his organs. Mm-hmm. The intestines look a bit a bit Iffy. funny. Yeah, it didn't really look. It looked like it looked kind of fake. But like overall, the body works. Everything grow. looked real. They managed to tell their story very well yeah no let me, let me but let me, personally to, like i said earlier i don't feel like i truly understand this movie like it was intended to be understood i don't think the movie understood this movie look at the synopsis it's basically <laughs> just, the, just telling you bits are evolving and everybody's mm-hmm. thinking of one man that's, that's yeah that's everyone's thinking of one man yeah, because so, he's the most unique so yeah so then the story and then um the twilight chicks character i don't know it seems he they had some kind of attraction Oh, is he? But like he was already with his assistant, with his yeah. assistant, so he didn't want to be like playing to with ladies or whatever. Hey, do you know what funny scene? They at some point she was like really digging into his mouth with her fingers and like as if she's trying to see what's inside the toilet chick. And then so the toilet chick has no no. Well, no. she's like trying to get real close to the guy and like understand him. Yeah, they were making out one time and the guy they're making out. If they have no pleasure from these things, why would you make out? I'm getting there. They were okay. making out and then. <laughs> He kind of stopped here and he was like, I'm sorry. When he said that, I'm sorry, I thought he was going to say, I have someone or something like that. He said, I've forgotten how to have normal sex. 
That's wild. It's been a while for him. Yeah. That's okay. wild. So in like in the future, people are getting pleasure from you know casting themselves because no more pain receptors. And that'll be that'll be the pleasure. Imagine that. And, and for some reason, in this time era, TVs and phones look really outdated. Yeah, it makes sense since the, since the, the phones. Kind of so evolved. it seems like no, it seems more like some kind of war happened. Like the kind of technologies we have now, kind of oh, broke that. Yeah, it got so, so now like they have to what's left that, are the old stuff that Is people they? neglected. That's what that's the implication I'm getting. So from. definitely understand that. So if I'm getting it straight, mm-hmm. new environment due to a past, past, past something. something. Yeah, something happened. So happens. apart from the war, pollution, yeah, plastic yeah, pollution, humans all of that. are evolving. So humans have no choice but to evolve. Yeah, and subconsciously because the brain is the one doing it for you. Mm-hmm. So you can choose how you can evolve. And there's this one man who has a constant tumor growth mm-hmm. and he uses very, it very as a stage performance mm-hmm. where he moves it, has fun with it. He has it. tumor, internal tumor. Someone is on his ears all over his body. Someone's, everyone is different. How you manage to watch this? Mad. <laughs> Mad. All right, you know, I, would you recommend it? If you're into bizarre shit, yeah, sure, why not? Yes. If, if you're into really bizarre shit and you don't mind the body horror, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's mm-hmm. all I can say. What you rate the movie? Hmm, hmm. Based on how very, very unique the concept and the idea is. It's very new. There's no doubt very, about Very, very new. Yeah. There's this no is not like anything I've I ever personally, seen. Yeah, I, what the trailer I could tell that they put a lot of effort in the body works. You mm-hmm. can tell yeah. the makeup yep. crew, true. everybody. True. That's, true. That's, that's, so, I, so I'm not shocked that it, sound, it's looking, it sounds bizarre. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's just that I feel like if you put so much work into so many things, like makeup, mm-hmm. direct, and all that, the story should tell more details. That's why I believe. I believe you can't just do one thing really well and have some other things flimsy mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. It's not going to tie, not going to tie, not gonna tie well. Mm-hmm. And the fact. In addition to the stage performers who have the growth and the, the extensive growth and deformities and stuff and some even go to the extent of adding like a tail not tail like strangers here and there to strangers. their bodies it's all for the stage performance to give some kind of message to the audience strange or strange strange like stuff like the ear nigger for instance when he's going to perform on stage there was one performance where um with the ears all over his head and his body he had his assistant stitch his eyes and his mouth closed so and he people. dances to this weird music some way and then people are supposed to try and interpret messages conveying that kind of thing so yeah it's it's quite it's quite it's quite what mm. I don't know. It's different. It's different. different there, there's no yeah. doubt. Different, different is scary. I personally will never watch this movie. Well, it wasn't scary. It was just. I meant different is scary. Okay. As like somebody will not go and click it. Oh, okay, okay. Like, we are trying to. Put like them, I said, if you're into horror, we're trying horror to put you stuff, game. you don't mind the body opening up and licking up wounds. You don't mind shit. performance being as bizarre things. The people perform. It's very bizarre. With it's very their bizarre bodies, movie. their transformations. Yeah, there's this guy who makes um chocolate bars, but it's not chocolate. It's actually plastic. He eats it as he's going. The, he's actually the father of the kid who was chewing the plastic bin, who got killed by his mom. And then he went to this place where the guy was, the main character was having his performance. And then he ate some of his chocolate bar and left it somewhere. And some guy stole it and ate. The guy took one bite and his whole body just shut down. Yeah, yeah, different people. <laughs> forgetting. So no, he's still like, I left my macho somewhere. Why you go think? Yeah, yeah. yeah he left. That's so that's when he saw that someone was stolen, he just stood by and watched the person. The person took one bite. He said, no, then just the whole body just couldn't take it. Interesting, interesting. But then he's added some crazy stuff to it. And what yeah. his body can handle it, yeah. Interesting. I like I like crazy, the concept. It's crazy. The concept is I like the concept. I different. just wish it had a deeper story. I had like a better message. But oh, the whole story centers around trying to understand the body through the main character. Trying yeah. to understand what's yeah. happening to okay. human beings. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if you want the best the best level of body art. If you want level. something very different from what you normally watch. Okay. Crimes of the future. Crimes of the future. What do you, what do you rate out of ten? <sighs> Seven point nine. Ten point nine. That's hard. You know. Mm-hmm. So basically, this this is the movie not for everybody, but if it's for you, come on, it's gonna slap. You get me? me you like personally. watching bizarre shit like I do. You me like it? I'm never gonna watch it because I don't understand why I watch a show of tumors. But <laughs> you watched it, you enjoyed it. So if you think you have the courage, the you know the balls of so or the boobs of so or the mix of sorts wherever you are whatever yeah this movie is basically that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever Where, you, wherever are, you are and you feel like you, are, can, yes. you can watch this movie just just you no know, click it go watch it and you know we didn't say much of the story because you know you know what would be crazy if they decide to do a part two yeah hopefully better story everyone grows every kind of organ there's no distinction between male and female anymore this is why the movie is for him he, only that people like this crazy. will come up with ideas <laughs> like what the f- so combining that with this that would be the most expensive the future. cg sex ever you have to have sex with something like that you can be how seen. would you like now you have to decide so who is going to be the boss going to be the top it'd be crazy as fuck yeah but yeah that would be one bizarre shit anyways yeah yeah you will not get hey, you don't want crazy shit we'll have tits i fuck with that anyways <laughs>
we will we'll end <clears> it there. Seven point nine over ten. This is the nine. crime of the future. Go we'll click if you're crimes. Crimes of the future. Forgive. Yeah. Forgive. People. So I'm guessing the crimes in this is the what's happening to yeah. the body. Yeah. Yeah. That's the crime. That's abomination also. Abomination, sort of. Yeah. All right. We we'll catch you guys later. Yeah.